Okay, today we're going to be talking about perfect tense. There are six different perfect tense. There's present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, present progressive perfect, past progressive perfect, and future progressive perfect. But don't worry, we're going to take them one at a time. Okay, so we're going to start with present perfect. Okay, let me shut the door. Okay, we're gonna do some editing with this. Okay, so anytime you hear perfect, any of the perfect tense, I want you to think past of. Okay, it's gonna be the past of whatever tense it is. So past perfect is going to be the past of the past. Future perfect is past of the future. Don't worry, again, I'll explain a little bit clearer. So we're going to start with present perfect. That is going to be the past of the present, which is now. So anything before now. We're always going to be concerned with before now. Okay? We make this with has or have, right? Depending if I, you, we, they have, he, she, it has. Okay? And then we're going to use the past participle or verb three. I've heard both. So depending on how you learned it, um, it's either the PP, past participle, or verb three. For example, eat, ate, eaten. This is the past participle. This is verb three. It'd be one, two, three. Okay? So that's how we're going to make our present perfect. And of course, don't forget, we can always add not. If we're going to add not, it goes right in between. Has not eaten. Okay, always good to remember. So we have four different ways that we can use the present perfect. Native speakers use present perfect all of the time. So let's look at how we use these. First, probably the one we use the most is going to be for experience. So an experience is something that is done before now. But we have past tense. Simple past tense is done before now. What's the difference? Okay, simple past, we know the time. Even if we don't say it, we know the time. We're thinking of something specific. When we use the perfect tense, we don't have a specific time in mind. We have some time back here, but we don't really know when. So it's an experience that we've had, again, in the past of now, so before now. For example, I have eaten pizza. Am I telling you when? No. Was it last night? Was it two years ago? We don't know. We just know that sometime before now, this is my experience. Okay? So this is the one that we use the most. The second most common is going to be until now. Okay? This we are going to focus on behavior. Okay? We can do some activities, but you'll see later that we use activities more with the progressive. So here we're going to be looking at any kind of stative verb, like no, am, see, those kind of things, and uh, behaviors. Okay? So this is going to be, I begin the activity in the past, and I continue the activity until now. Okay? A word that we're going to see here a lot of the time is going to be since. And since is going to be my beginning point. Okay? So I'm going to say, since I came to America. <laughs> okay? 
Okay, since I came to America, so this is my beginning point. This is going to be when I came to America, okay? So from this time until now, I have, oops, let me make my comma. I have lived in Laverne. So from the time I came to America until now, I have lived in Laverne. I never stopped living in Laverne. The whole time until now, I have lived in Laverne. Be careful. You can't say I have lived in China since Oh, we're gonna skip that. Okay. This is hard. Okay, so that's our example for until now. The next one we have is going to be repetitions. Repetitions comes from the word repeat, right? To do again. Okay? And so this is going to kind of combine experience and behavior until now with counting, okay? So we have some time beginning, sometimes it's the beginning of our life, sometimes it's since I came to America, whatever the beginning time is. And it's going to count until now, okay? So we can say, I have visited Disneyland Six times. Okay? This is going to be one of our key words for our present perfect. Six times. That means from here until now, six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay? This in this sentence, it sounds like since I was born. But if I want to make it more specific, I can always add a time clause. So I can say, since I moved to California, okay? And that means that this beginning time is when I moved to California. So these three are very common. We have one that's a little less common, but sometimes you hear it, so I want to teach you, okay? So this number four is for a recently completed action that it impacts to right now, okay? So again, that is an action that has been recently, in the past, completed, but it really changes or impacts what's happening now, okay? So it's something that's done, but impacts now, okay? For example, if somebody offers you food, say, oh, here, have some, and you don't want any because your stomach is full, you say, oh, no thank you. I have just eaten breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever. So the action is completed before now and I know the time because it was recently but it still is really impacting now. So we're still talking about the past of now. Okay so we have these three or sorry these four ways of using perfect tense, okay? Present perfect tense. Let's see how that 